This yeah. is an Aladdin's cave of weird and wonderful herbal products which the people who take them swear by. In, in here we mix up the liquid formulas which uh, are all herbal, the herbal ingredients. Every conceivable herb is here apparently to help with every conceivable ailment. Oh, wild cherry bark. Wild cherry bark. And what's so, that good for? That's for the lungs. But this industry, which has quietly flourished in England since the days of Henry VIII, is facing its biggest crisis. Well, it uh, wouldn't be an understatement to say it'd be devastating because the rules are going to make perhaps 80% of our products illegal next April. The new rules are from the EU and they'll mean every single herbal product, every single formula will need a licence. And Malcolm reckons a single licence could cost up to £50,000. I'm more concerned about the companies yeah, like mine, the small herbal companies in this country, being put out of business and about our thousands of customers that we've had over the years not being able to have access to the herbs, the herbal products they've been used to and being limited to a small number of um, probably simple herbal products, sometimes single herbs, which will be produced by either drug companies or by large companies with licensed premises. Do you think it's right that the EU gets involved in this sort of thing? Well, it's right that we have some degree of regulation of some products, but here we've got people with free choice and we ought to be allowing people to have that free choice, providing it's well labelled. He's asked the government if they can do anything to help people like Malcolm Simmons, the future of his company, and he says the whole industry is at risk. Phil Hornby in Portslade for Meridian tonight. There, no problem. Yeah.